Now with Alexander Usyk, you know, him missing his child's birth is going to really make him, it's just, it's just going to add fuel to the fire or fire to the fury, if you will. So he's going to be a little more, uh, let's go give him extra motivation. I'll say this, if you was ever going to bet on Alexander Usyk being Tyson Fury, this is the time to do it because now Alexander has extra, extra motivation. He's extra fired up. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's a very calm guy. He seems, he seems very calm, so he's not demonstrative. He, he didn't throw a fit, but you know on the inside, he's burning up to get recompense. You take the world I love as recompense for your imagined slights. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube family, man? We out here again, man. Engineers to the streets. Dr. PG and GM, praise God to get money. Y'all know what time it is, man. I'm outside again, man. Join the... Nice little weather that we had, man. I'll check out Kimba Abandon. They right here as well. Man, they they chilling, enjoying the weather right now. You know, I had um <laughs> I had to get on here because, you know, according to uh, Michael Benson on Twitter, you know, he has all the dudes and stuff like that. <clears throat> Among some others, man, it, it, it's been said that uh, Tyson Fury, you know, you know, is infamously, of course, has postponed the fight. Um, from, from February 17th to a now later date of May 18th, you know what I'm saying, between him and Alexander Usyk. So, which is all fine and dandy, man, which is all fine and dandy, of course, man. You know? <laughs> but, you know, it comes with sacrifices. And one of those sacrifices, apparently, is that um, Alexander Usyk unfortunately missed the, the, the birth of his daughter. I believe his daughter, the birth of his child, you know, I believe it was his daughter specifically. But, um, you know, and uh, of course, that's his choice, you know. Um, but sometimes we make sacrifices because of some things that we have already, you know, situated or already scheduled out. And in this, in this case, he had a fight, you know, that he thought was going to happen. And unbeknownst to him, it got canceled. So now it seems like he, uh, <laughs> he misses, it's not funny, but he misses child's birth for nothing. It would appear as if, you know, that's how he's going to feel. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, well, you know, he could have left his training camp. That's his fault. Uh, to miss his child's birth, could took some time, or or they scheduled this fight during the birth of his child. Yeah, that, that, all that all that is true. But sometimes, you know, when you, just two people coming together, two parties coming together, you don't know when something's gonna happen. I have a story to share with y'all too. Oh no God, no God, please. In that regard, man, I have a story because um, you know, I remember years ago. Um, I believe it was during my either my master's or my PhD. I believe it was for my master's. I had an engineering conference I had to go to, you know, and this is like what three months down the road. And but I had uh, unfortunately I had a, had a tooth, had a, had a bad tooth, man. And um, and so I had to get my tooth pulled, you know, it was, it was paining me, paining me, a whole bunch of pain I was going through. Hey, yo, hey, niggas get shot every day, B. You be all right, nigga. You tough, right? And so I wanted to schedule with the dentist. You know, if I get it pulled. And, uh, of course, you know, my luck, you know, I, we had a certain date, but then that date had to get changed. And guess what date it got changed to? It got changed to the same date as my freaking engineering conference, which was out of town, all expense paid for me to go present my research to a, um, to a consortium. Well, so check I this out. Though. First of all, you throwing too many big words at me. Okay, now, because I don't understand them, I'm going to take them as disrespect. Watch your mouth. Uh, or a consortium, however you want to pronounce it, of, uh, of engineers, engineers, companies, and engineering researchers alike. And so, I had a choice to make. Was I either get my tooth pulled on this date that they changed, that I didn't want it, or should I go to this um, conference that, was, that I already knew about months ahead? So, of course, you know, and those of you that have... Uh, Scheduled an appointment with a dentist, you know, a lot of times they have a very select, a very small window that you could choose, you know. So it's not like you can go whenever you want, you can't just walk in. Obviously, they changed my date. So if I were to change the schedule, if I, if I wouldn't have been able to comply with this date, they would have uh, moved it. I think it was like six months further down the road. So I would go through this excruciating pain for six more months. So I decided to go ahead and um, go with the, go with, go with the. <laughs> Go with go with the appointment and miss and miss my uh by 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 conference right, so <laughs> so when I get there, what you getting at with the book script? Spit that shit out, man. I'm gonna try to make long story short. Long story short. So when I get to the dentist now, 
they're already three hours behind, right? So I'm waiting for three hours in the lobby. Okay, no, we're going to get to you. We're going to get to you. Something, something they're running later or the is running later or something like that. Then guess what? They had the audacity to tell me after I'm, oh, I've already been sitting in the office, me and my girlfriend at the time, for three hours. They tell me, oh, the dentist said that they won't be able to get to you today. I, 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 I said, excuse me, say what? <laughs> come, come again, say what? So, so they tell me that. So now you know me, man. I am upset. I'm like, nah, you know, I, all this stuff I had to push aside. All this stuff I changed. All this stuff I rearranged. You know, and just for you to tell me that uh, the same day after I missed my research conference, I was supposed to go to out of state, out of town, out of town, out of state. And they're like, oh, well, we can't do anything about it. Such and such and such. They, they have to leave. I said, no, you're going to do something about it. You know, me, I'm all right. I'm very, I'm very mad. But I'm not, I'm not demonstrative. I'm not belligerent. I just tell them very sternly, very firmly. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not going while this tooth is still in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? I, I, this tooth is going to get removed or I'm not leaving. So guess what they did? You know, me, me, look how I look. You know, we're in America, right? You know, even though I was calm, you know, nobody said I was, I was threatening, but they called the police. I said, I wouldn't leave the, I wouldn't leave the place. So I wasn't going to leave. They called the police. By the time the police get there, the dentist comes out. And then once uh, once I share my story with the dentist, the dentist is like, oh, no, 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 I can definitely accommodate you, you know? I want, I just wanted to leave early because I wanted to, uh, I can't, it, was, it was something frivolous, like uh, go shopping or something like that. It wasn't, nothing, it wasn't an emergency. So, so, the, so the representatives at the front, uh, front desk, they did, the receptionist didn't even share, the, share my story with the dentist. You had one job. Just the one. Right? So, one, so shout out to the dentist, man, a black lady too, big salute to her. So she came, she got, long story short, she pulled my tooth, right? So the, the, the thing I'm saying is that I had a choice, right? I could have just left, but because of the sacrifice I made and, and missing my, missing, missing my, uh, my research, my, my research conference, that kind of fired me up, you know, that fired me up to, to be a little more uh, stern <laughs> and a little more set in my ways, you know, and. And, and less compliant, so I wanted to stay there and, and get my tooth done. So now with Alexander Usyk, you know him missing his child's birth is gonna really make him. It's just, it's just gonna add fuel to the fire or fire to the fury, if you will. So he's gonna be a little more. Uh, let's go give him extra motivation. Like I said, you, we all have choices to make, but because he made that choice to miss his child's birth, yo, know, he did it thinking that with the justification being that okay I, i'm about to have this fight with this person at this time and this place so so that was going to compensate for it but since it didn't happen you know he mad <laughs> you know he mad so tyson fury man i'll say this if you was ever going to bet on alexander Usyk being tyson fury this is the time to do it because now alexander has extra, extra motivation he's extra fired up you know what i'm saying he, he, he's a very calm guy he see he seems very calm so he's not demonstrative he, he didn't throw a fit but you know on the inside he's burning up to get recompense you take the world i love as recompense for your imagined slights for missing his daughter's childbirth so you could say oh it was his or oh, uh, you don't blame tyson fury you know we all have choices tyson i bet you alexander Usyk blames tyson fury <laughs> He, he gonna get his get back so yeah man so i think this is the time for you place your bets now man alexander Usyk. i'm not saying that he gonna beat him but if he was ever gonna beat him it would be now so yeah i i definitely think that that while we do all have choices i'm not blaming tyson fury you know for alexander Usyk missing his daughter's birth however he did have something to do with it you know because the reason why he was going to miss it is because of the the deal that they had to for him to go in um schedule that fight you know and the fight was called off and it wasn't alexander Usyk's doing and at the end of the day he did miss his child's birth so you know what i'm saying <laughs> so we go see how it goes man with all that being said if they both come in at 100 percent i still got tyson fury i ain't gonna lie <laughs> i still got tyson fury but yeah i just think he's a better boxer the bigger guy and um but like i said the um the caveat with that is it is tyson fury you don't know how he's gonna be because he's very hit or miss, very inconsistent, man. So I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in the comments who you think is gonna win, man. You think it's gonna be Alexander Usyk? Do you think it's gonna be uh, Tyson Fury? Do you think that Alexander Usyk should be mad at anybody besides himself for missing his child's birth or what? Let me know your opinions, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. We out. God bless. Peace. Say peace out to Kid Bud Bandit. Say bye bye, fools. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.